Hello and welcome to Lucky Sweetheart Vintage, where kitsch comes to play and fabulous finds are around every corner. So I got a bunch of awesome, really fun things to show you today. You won't even believe how much I paid for half of this stuff. And let's get started with the video. Okay, so let's start out with some fun Halloween items that I got. I got this jack-o'-lantern. It lights up and it looks like really spooky. I got that for a dollar. I got these pot holders for a dollar each. Aren't they so cute? They're twinsies. And I want to show you how I um, set some of those things up. I got a pack of napkins, probably like late, early 2000s, um, for a dollar. And those are going to go to my daughter's school. And then I got this sexy candy corn outfit, um, which I'll be wearing just for my husband. This is how it looks. And... I don't know like I might just like put some um like what's it called like black tights under it and make it like a little bit unsexy so I could wear it publicly but I don't know yet <laughs> okay so sorry about that now I have for you some fun stuff I got this little chipmunk this was 75 cents it's by Ross um, probably a product of the 80s or early 90s and I'm planning on collecting a couple of these little figurine types guys putting them into a lot and selling them reselling them on either eBay or Etsy because I think it's a cute idea and it's something that if I saw a lot of them for a good price you know a lot like three or four of them for a good price I'd buy them so been thinking outside the box to try and get some sales. Next up, I got these awesome 1970s um, mushroom salt and pepper shakers. These were so cool in the 1970s and um, they're in really good condition. Um, they don't have the stoppers on the bottom and they actually came with the cruet right here. They came with one cruet. The cruet's also sp supposed to have a stopper and there's supposed to be two cruets, not one, but I got all three of these for $3 and at my local Salvation Army. They're the type, they're either by Sears and Roebuck or Arnold's, um, but I can't see on the bottom to see. They're definitely signed, definitely product of the 1970s. Um, and I have them up on my eBay right now for $12.99 for the three of them. So pretty good price um, to anybody who wants them. Next up, I got some playing cards. Half of them, my daughter and me were playing a game, so half of them are gone, but I got the other, but I got these still in here, and I got them for 75 cents, and then I got some, I just like this, this cute little stork, um, I'm just gonna call this, like, scrapbooking needs, I got this for 50 cents, it's like just a, an eight pack of, it says, come to a baby shower. Then I got really nice American Greetings. I don't know if you could see that rose stationary, but it's the American Greetings um, stationary. And there's a bunch of pages here. It's just like for writing notes or whatever. And I got this for, I think, $2. But yeah, I'm gonna write some notes and send them out. Next up, I got um, some fabrics. I got this. It folds out. Nice little doily from my house. I got this one. This is, I love these. These are the old 1970s cleaning rags and they're just thick and really nice and I really adore them. And this one looks like it, as though it was not used. I love that pattern. And then this is a napkin. Um, there were other napkins with it, so I don't know if it's like a handkerchief or a napkin, but I only wanted one of them. I didn't want a bunch. It's got this cute little pattern there. And then this one says that it was made in Italy. I don't know the time frame on this, but I'd say that it's older, judging by that marking. I'd say that this is older, definitely post-World War II, but I don't know how old. Um, and... I got two aprons that I'm gonna have to clean up because these guys are for resale also. These are gonna go up on my eBay and my Poshmark after I, I have to do a little bit of sewing, a little bit of cleaning, and a little bit of ironing. But I loved these and I love selling aprons. I love selling them. I love finding them and I love selling them. I swear, I'm, I'm just gonna do from now on, I'm really just gonna be selling, uh, reselling lingerie and aprons because those are my two favorite things. 
and the little tchotchkes, like I said, but that's about it. I love this little pocket. It's got like a little heart pocket here. I love the fabric. I just think this is so awesome. So like retro vintage looking. And then this one is a strawberry and this one needs a lot of TLC. There's quite a few little, you know, patches that I have to make on this one. Um, but it's just really beautiful. It's got the strawberries and the gingham print, which, um, are so popular right now. And then this is the back. I love the backs like this. This is very unique. But like I said, it's got all different areas of distress in it. So I got all of these for $5 for all of those fabric-y things. Next up, I got this awesome um, mason jar full of old, um, what are these called? Matches, matchbooks. And I just really like the matchbooks. I think that like these are so cute. They're so old. And I found quite a few of these in the basement that we're in right now in my grandparents' house. So they kind of remind me of my of my grandpa. So I got this for 50 cents and uh, stay tuned on my Instagram because I think I'm going to be doing a little contest. Even though I've said for a million years that I'm going to do a contest here for 100 subscribers and I am, but I just have to figure out what I'm doing for that. So anyway, I got some shoes as well for myself because I had no shoes. I've been wearing flip flops and it's been getting cold because I have like literally one flare, pair of flip flops and then I have two pairs of sneakers and I lost my other um, my Ralph Lauren loafers that I got for $2 at the thrift. So I don't, I just don't know where they are, but I got these, um, they were brand new with the tags on, uh, old Navy. I got these for $5 and I've already worn them in quite a bit, but I love them. Then I got these, um, and they say they're by Austin trading company of Tennessee. And I got these for $2.50. And then I got these also brand new. These are kind of more for like going out, like maybe to dinner or whatever, but I like them because they were a loafer. Um, and I got these for $2.52. Next up, I'm so excited to show you the last couple um, things. Uh, number one, I got this magazine rack from my favorite ever thrift shop. I love this place. And um, I paid $5 for it. It is just so cool. And I love having it here. I'm going to be doing another tour of this room because everything in here is about to change because of based on like some of the things that I've gotten these past couple hauls. But I also got these two panels. I love them. I love the color yellow suddenly. And I love the flowers that are on these. So I got them for a dollar each. And then I am so excited for this one. This one is so much fun. I got this beautiful woman who is like, she's drinking some sort of, it. I mean, it could be a Starbucks drink, but I, I happen to think it might be like a mojito or something like that. Like, I feel like she's chilling in Spain right now. I don't know why. It's very Pedro Almodovar-esque, this, this portrait. It reminds me of like, you know, um, what's her name? Penelope Cruz in a Pedro Almodovar movie. But I don't know if, um, if, if they, they knew that back in the seventies. Cause I think that that's where this is from. So it's all, um, cross stitch is the word I believe. If not, it's needlepoint, And if not, it's embroidery. It's one of the three, but I got this for $6 and my God, I would have paid like 30 for it. I just love it. This for some reason just reminds me of a really good memory. I love it. So, um, this was six and this is going up and I'm just, I'm completely changing the way that the whole living room looks for the next, I think like two or three days, I'm going to be working on everything with my living room and just like changing it up and making it all look so cool. So anyway, that is the total haul that I have for you today. Believe it or not, there are still some things that I have, but I'm going to leave that for another haul for you. So thank you so much for paying attention and um, we'll see you in our next haul.